Hello, sports fans and USFL fans out there. I know you've been following me, and uh, we're going to talk about, uh, well, this week, among other things, we are going to talk about the four USFL teams who have wrapped up playoff spots, and we'll get into that when we look at the standings for the USFL. And we are also going to um, do a slight recap of last week's um, action. And we will also recap what I did. I mean, let's talk about that. Last week, I came into last week's action with a 17 and 15 record on the year picking the USFL games throughout the season and I was three and one last week and ironically the game that I lost was the game where I took Birmingham and Birmingham decided to lose their first game of the season otherwise that would have been my first four and oh but no no I was three and one so uh, that leaves me at 20 and 16 for the season and um, I mean, I guess that's pretty good considering these are a bunch of guys that were in and out of NFL rosters or never on NFL rosters and thrown together onto eight teams with very little time to work out together. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a pretty good record. But uh, other than that, let's get on with what else we need to talk about.
right, so here we have the standings for the USFL. We'll get into this before we get into my picks for the week, for the final week of the USFL season. Uh, but let's take a look at the standings before you look at my picks. We've got the North showing right now, and the top two teams in the North are the Generals and the Stars, and as I said, we are going to mention that those two teams will be playing for the North Division Championship. The Generals are 8-1 and one on the season, and the Stars are 6-3. and three. The Panthers are 1-8, and eight, and so are the Maulers, 1-8. and eight. They haven't been mauling anybody, really, and uh, the Panthers haven't been very scary cats to other teams in the league either. So, uh, yeah, you've got the Stars and the Generals will be playing for the North Division Championship. And if we move down, you can see that they've uh, the Generals have scored 206 points and allowed 159. The Stars have scored 239 points but allowed 217. So, the better defensive team appears to be the Generals. If we scroll down to the south, you can see the top two teams. Again, the top two teams are the teams that will be playing for the South Division Championship, and that will be the Birmingham Stallions, who lost their first game of the year. As I mentioned earlier, last, last week, when I picked them to win, and they cost me my first and only so far 4-0 week. And the Breakers are 6-3, and three, so the Breakers will play the Stallions. The Breakers had played the um, Bandits this past week, and had the Bandits won, and then won again in week 10, they could have been, and would have been apparently, the, um, the representative or one of the representatives in the South Division Championship uh, game instead of Breakers, but they did not beat the Breakers. So, And then, of course, the last place team in the South, you've got the Gamblers, the Houston Gamblers coming in at 2-7. and seven. So those are your matchups. You've got the Generals versus the Stars. You've got the Stallions versus the Breakers. And I will talk about who I think will be uh, going to the USFL championship game and who will win in a video next week after week 10 has been played. I want to have all of my data available to me to make that determination. But now we should get into the picks. All right, you guys ready for these? Are you ready for these? This is week 10. This is the final week of the USFL. And if I go 4-0, I will be 60% on the year. Now, if you follow my NFL picks, you know that I always strive for at least 60%. So I got to go 4-0, undefeated, in the last week, when I haven't even done that yet, and to be 60% for the season. And we are contending. I said last week that I didn't think they were going to sit guys. You know, the teams that were going to make the playoffs wouldn't sit guys because they are, all these guys are auditioning for NFL spots. No, I was wrong. At least the Stars did sit their quarterback after a few series or something in the first half. So apparently that's a thing. They will sit their starters to try to win the games the playoff games apparently at least the playoff teams so you know i mean and the teams that aren't making a playoff they don't have anything to play for but i'm sure the players want to play to audition for nfl team camps potentially so uh, with that having been said we will get into the picks and we'll hope that i am 4-0 this week so um there will be two games on each of saturday and sunday saturday the 18th We'll feature game one as Philadelphia against New Jersey. So this is a preview of the North Division Championship game. And uh, in fact, 
let's see what's the other one no the other one is not a preview of the championship game so we do have a championship game preview here because these same two teams are going to play again whenever the playoffs start i'm not sure when that is i would assume it's maybe next week but maybe not maybe it's uh i don't know and i will let you know in a follow-up video but anyway this is a preview of the North Division Championship game, and I am taking New Jersey. You remember, we went over the records. New Jersey, 8-1. and one. The Stars, 6-3. and three. And New Jersey with the better defense. So I'm going to assume that New Jersey is, although they don't need to win the game to still be the top-seeded team in that game, but again, it doesn't really matter because these teams don't really play at home. So, uh, except Birmingham. They're the only one. So I would, uh, I'm going to pick New Jersey in this game just because everything points to New Jersey winning it, should win it. We'll see if they win it. Game two is Birmingham, the aforementioned Birmingham, uh, the top seed in the South, playing Tampa Bay. And in this game, I'm going to take, again, I'm going to take Birmingham. Everything points to Birmingham should win this game. But again, are they going to sit people? Are they going to play other guys? The one thing in my favor is that these are limited rosters. So there's only so much of sitting guys that they can do. So I'm going to take Birmingham in that game. Now, Sunday, January 19th, you got Michigan versus Pittsburgh. The two teams at the bottom of the USFL North. And I am going to take Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh this past week almost won against whoever it was they played. I forgot. But uh, you probably saw it in the, in, you know, in the reels of, of the highlights or, uh, or the game footage from last week. But anyway, uh, offhand, I don't recall. But they played a good game against a vastly superior opponent. I think it was the Stars. So, uh... You know, if you can play that good a game against the Stars, you should certainly beat the Panthers, who really haven't shown anything this year. And in the last game of the season, of the regular USFL season, you will have New Orleans at Houston at 4 o'clock. And in that game, I am taking Houston. And I'm taking Houston because New Orleans has quarterback problems. They are the better team. They are the vastly better team. But they have quarterback problems, and their offense hasn't been really good in the last few weeks. Defensively, they're a very good team. But their offense has struggled, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say Houston in this one. And besides, all of the favorites don't always win every week. That never happens. So you got to take some upset somewhere. So those are my picks. What do you guys think of them? Do you like them? Do you think I'm going to go 4-0? It would be awesome to go 4-0. You know, with these, like I said, with the circumstances under which these teams have were put together and uh, and played, you know, we'll see. So that will be it for me right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.